Good afternoon. And 80 years ago, the first transport of Polish political prisoners from Tarnów uh, arrived to Auschwitz, and that was the date when uh, the most historians believed it was the moment in time when Auschwitz was established. Uh, today I'd like to tell you a story of these people and uh, explain uh, why Auschwitz was selected for this purpose, why um, uh, Auschwitz became uh, at the very beginning of its existence uh, a center for the detention of Polish political prisoners. They were, there were many reasons. Uh, the most f um, important was the, f the fact that um, already in the autumn of 1939, uh, German um, uh, police authorities um, initiated the mass action of arresting um, Poles in Upper Silesia who um, participated in, in the Polish uprisings against the Germans at the beginning of the 20s, who were the members of the local elites uh, in, in the province of, of Upper Silesia, and who uh, uh, openly uh, demonstrated their patriotism. So these people uh, were arrested on mass scale and put to local jails. Um, and uh, it was already in uh, October uh, 1939 when uh, the commandants of these jails, uh, uh, local administration began to complain uh, that uh, the scale of uh, the Police arrest is, is, is enormous, and there was no uh, space enough uh, in these uh, prisons to accommodate all the, the, the detainees. Uh, in order to solve this problem, uh, in the office of uh, the higher SS uh, and police commander in, in Wrocław or Breslau, um, uh, one of the officers writing the idea to, uh, to f find a suitable place for a temporary camp or a sort of a quarantine camp for those Poles who were to uh, wait there uh, for the transportation to the old German concentration camps like Dachau, Sachsenhausen and others. Uh, because more or less at the same time, these camps situated in, in the Old Reich were overcrowded. Uh, the Dachau concentration camp was turned into the training point, uh, training camp for, for the staffs of, um, of uh, the Nazi concentration camps. Uh, there was an epidemic of typhus in, in Sachsenhausen. So uh, Auschwitz, um, or a camp like this, should um, uh, play this role only for a couple of months, probably, that these were the initials, initial uh, plans uh, for the future of such a camp. And Auschwitz was selected for, for this purpose because uh, there were the military barracks, or the Polish military base, uh, that was situated on the suburb of uh, the city of Oświęcim. Uh, uh, the barracks were under control of the Wehrmacht, However, uh, the, the administration of, uh, of the eight uh, uh, military corps from Breslau uh, uh, expected that uh, it would be possible to, to lease the, these barracks uh, for the SS for a period of about uh, a year. And uh, we know that these uh, negotiations were uh, initiated at, uh, uh, at the end of Ottoman 1939. So it was probably the end of, of November, of, of beginning of, of December. Uh, and uh, we know that uh, uh, more or less in the middle of, um, of December, the inspector of the Nazi concentration camps, uh, Richard Glücks, um, uh, sent a letter to Heinrich Himmler in which he uh, uh, suggested to build a new uh, uh, state-run concentration camp for those Poles who uh, uh, were arrested in Greater Poland or Wielkopolska and in Pomerania. 
So, uh, as you may see, uh, he did not expect any problems with overcrowding of, uh, of local jails in uh, Upper Silesia because he probably uh, already know that these, um, uh, these people uh, will be uh, deported to uh, the newly opened quarantine camp in Oświęcim. In the end of uh, uh, January, uh, in the letter uh, sent from the office of, of von den bach this the senior uh, SS and police commander from Breslau, uh, there was a, a paragraph in which uh, von den bach explained that uh, the former Polish barracks in Oświęcim seems to be suitable for this purpose, for the kind of the state-run concentration camp. So uh, uh, the negotiations with uh, the Wehrmacht uh, uh, last until the end of, of uh, March 1940, and then the, the final decision was taken. The idea of the um, uh, special camp for um, Polish prisoners from uh, the western provinces of Poland that, was, that were incorporated into the Reich, the Wielkopolska and Pomerania, uh, had all, uh, finally been abandoned. And uh, more or less at this time, um, Heinrich Himmler decided that uh, this uh, new camp for occupied Polish territory territories should be open in Oświęcim or in Auschwitz. Uh, we know that uh, uh, in the last uh, days of uh, March 1940, uh, the first uh, German construction company uh, called uh, Gregor Grabasch was hired by the SS uh, for a couple of uh, um, construction works, installations of um, electric uh, network and so on. Uh, so the SS already in, in the fall of March was ready to pay for uh, these uh, these works uh, being done in, in Auschwitz. Then, uh, in the middle of April, uh, uh, the same day, uh, the agreement between the SS and um, uh, Wehrmacht um, uh, was uh, signed uh, eventually, and. Um, um, on the, on the same, on this very day, uh, uh, SS uh, uh, decided that uh, the budget for all construction works uh, uh, in Auschwitz sh uh, should uh, uh, be uh, um, estimated as to be the, the, the two million of, of uh, rice marks uh, at the very beginning. It was not much. The SS believed that, uh, thanks to the, the, the fact that uh, in Auschwitz there are many uh, brick and, and wooden barracks that could be easily used for the needs of the future concentration camp, they would save uh, money and material that was uh, essential for the SS at, the, uh, at this time because of lack of, of bricks, of, of uh, wood and, and barbed wire. Uh, um, uh, there were many, many uh, problems with, with acquiring this, these, these materials for the SS. So, uh, um, three days later, um, uh, Rudolf Hoess, the former deputy commander uh, and uh, Schutzhaflagerführer uh, in Sachsenhausen, came to Auschwitz for the first time with two other officers. Uh, and the purpose of the visit was to, 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 to see the camp, the, the, the barracks, to um, uh, settle uh, what should be done. Um, these two other officers were the specialists, were the engineers uh, who, um, whose task was to pre prepare the, the, the first draft of, uh, uh, of expansion of Auschwitz. Uh, uh, and all these construction works that were necessary on the one hand, and on the other to estimate the costs of um, particular buildings. And this primary uh, preliminary budget um, was sent to Berlin uh, in the end of the month. 
Uh, interestingly enough, the, um, uh, the, the, the both officers believe that uh, Auschwitz should have uh, the capacity of uh, 10,000 uh, 10, prisoners as it had been previously expected uh, for the needs of a quarantine camp. So 10,000 people, 10,000 prisoners uh, in two types of barracks, uh, 22 brick blocks uh, and uh, another 20 uh, wooden ones. Uh, they were all uh, should be uh, surrounded by the barbed wire fence, um, and the uh, this especially say for so uh, a number of new investments like uh, the offices for the SS uh, um, and the crematorium. It's interesting because. Uh, it was the first uh, case in the history of the Nazi concentration camps uh, when uh, uh, the SS decided to build a completely new uh, stationary crematorium building uh, with the um, estimated capacity of one furnace, about 100 bodies a day. Uh, and interestingly enough that um, uh, while uh, discussing about the uh, the way of installations of of uh, the chimney and and the furnace in the in the existing building uh, uh, that was planned that uh, it would be necessary to leave uh, space in the building for the next uh, furnace with the identical capacity of 100 bodies uh, to be burned uh, a day so uh, we can see that uh, Auschwitz from the very beginning uh, was planned uh, not as a regular, um, typical concentration camp, uh, as much as they were, uh, the, the camps like uh, Dachau and, and, and others, um, but uh, uh, at this very early stage, uh, the SS expected the high mortality among prisoners of the concentration camp. Then, uh, Another decision taken, uh, probably in fall of, of, of May, uh, uh, to uh, increase the capacity uh, of Auschwitz uh, from 10,000 up to 30,000 prisoners. And another um, interesting feature, uh, uh, the 30,000 prisoners was more than the overall uh, population, uh, total population of um, uh, prisoners in all Nazi concentration camps before the war. So uh, at this time, uh, this period of planning, uh, Auschwitz uh, uh, was to be the, the biggest German concentration camp. And as much as we we know from from surviving documents, um, these document uh, these these prisoners were to be deported from occupied Polish territory. Most probably, this um, the increase in number of, of uh, prisoners uh, 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 expected to be sent to Auschwitz resulted from uh, the decisions that were taken by Heinrich Himmler, who, uh, uh, during this visit in, in, in Warsaw, uh, a couple of weeks before, he said that uh, uh, there would be necessary to arrest uh, tens of thousands of Poles and to kill them, to, 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 to murder uh, them in, in different kinds of, uh, of executions, uh, and reminding 20,000 prisoners should be sent to a, a concentration camp. So, uh, uh, in our opinion, uh, uh, we can uh, see the, 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 the close connection between these decisions and the rising up the capacity of Auschwitz to uh, the 30,000 prisoners. So uh, this was the moment in time when uh, Auschwitz was still uh, under construction. There were a number of German um, construction companies that were employed by the SS on the site of a former Polish military base in Auschwitz. And most probably, uh, the, the SS expected uh, that Auschwitz, uh, Auschwitz to be opened uh, around uh, 20th of May. 
uh, because um, on this date, the, fir uh, the first group of prisoners, uh, not political, but criminals uh, and Germans, uh, uh, arrived to Auschwitz. These were the people who were carefully selected for this purpose in the Sachsenhausen concentration camp. Uh, and as usual, it was uh, the, the, the typical for, for uh, the process of setting up the new camp in Germany. These um, uh, mm, uh, criminals uh, were intended to be uh, uh, the capos, uh, block seniors, the functionary prisoners to supervise the other political prisoners. Uh, surprisingly, these, uh, uh, the 30, 30 people, the 30 prisoners from, from Sachsenhausen, uh, spent the next uh, three uh, weeks locked in, in Auschwitz uh, because they had nothing to do and no other prisoners to be supervised because uh, there were some difficult, uh, difficulties uh, in forming the first transports to Auschwitz and we can uh, see that on the example of, uh, uh, of the history of the first transport and the history of uh, um, uh, a prison in Tarnov. As we know, uh, uh, initially uh, Auschwitz was uh, uh, prepared and, and foreseen as the center for um, detention of uh, uh, Polish political prisoners from uh, Upper Silesia. Uh, but uh, with the openings of uh, concentration camps in Germany, uh, uh, the SS and police authorities from, from um, uh, Silesia decided that there is no need to, to send the uh, prisoners uh, and or to wait for the opening of, of the new camp in Auschwitz. Uh, uh, when they uh, had a chance to send their prisoners to, to Dachau and Sachsenhausen and the other camps. So uh, uh, it was probably um, uh, uh, the reason why the von den Barzelewski issued an order in which he expected that uh, only criminal prisoners uh, 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 should be sent to, uh, to Germany and political prisoners uh, 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 she stayed in, in the jails in Silesia and uh, awaited the, tra the transportation to the newly opened uh, uh, camp in Oświęcim. However, uh, because of lack of time, uh, the uh, administration of, uh, of, of jails in Silesia decided to send uh, to Germany not only uh, criminals but practically all categories of, of prisoners including polit political ones and therefore in this way the, the problem of overcrowding of uh, local jays was uh, somehow solved. But at the same time uh, um, the Nazi authorities initiated the uh, infamous uh, action um, AB against the Polish intelligentsia and uh, that was um, focused on uh, the territories that, uh, of central Poland that uh, formed the so-called general government, uh, including Warsaw, Krakow and uh, major Polish uh, cities in, in, in the central part of the country. Uh, that uh, action in included, of course, Krakow and Lesser Poland or Małopolska, and in Krakow, the, uh, the central prison for concentration of uh, these new waves, new masses of, of prisoners, that was the uh, uh, Montelupich prison. But the similar role in the eastern part of, uh, of the district played uh, the prison in Tarnów. Uh, that was a, a new, relatively modern prison that was built uh, 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 before the war in the 20s and had um, capacity to accommodate uh, up to 500 people. And uh, interestingly, if we uh, uh, look at the statistics of the JS, we can see that um, until the end of April, the number of prisoners in, in the Tarnów uh, was somehow they limited to, the, to up to 370 uh, uh, people, more or less. 
And then suddenly, uh, with the beginning of May, we can observe the, the, um, the um, radical growth in, in the number of uh, prisoners in Tarnov uh, and the, the gradual concentration of prisoners from the uh, uh, from smaller uh, jails and prisons in, in the eastern part of, of the district, namely from uh, Krosno, from from Jasno, uh, uh, Jaswo, uh, Zakopane, Rzeszów, and other such 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 places, even from the local um, uh, uh, police stations in, in this in this part of the country. And um, in the result of this, between the third and twenty uh, third of of May, twenty four transports were uh, directed from these local jails to the. To, to, to the central prison in, in Tarnov. So this um, uh, um, uh, resulted in the rapid growth in the number of prisoners that um, reached uh, in the second half of the month over uh, 1,200 um, prisoners. Uh, and then nothing happened. So at this point in time we've get, we've got the situation as follows the the Auschwitz concentration camp is still under construction uh, the first group of 30 criminals from Sachsen, uh, Sachsenhausen uh, they are waiting for 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 uh, for, uh, for the arrival of, of the political prisoners and they 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 do nothing on the other hand uh, the polish prisoners in Tartnów they also, they, they are spending the, 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 the next uh, uh, three weeks in the cells. Uh, the situation is uh, uh, a bit difficult because the, the, the prison is, is uh, overcrowded. So something, uh, I believe, something uh, that had happened uh, uh, that resulted in the substantial delays in the opening of Auschwitz. And that was uh, most probably the, the, the lack of uh, material and uh, what was essential for the needs of new concentration camp, uh, the lack of mm, uh, barbed wire. We know uh, from the, the, the correspondence between the administration of, of uh, Auschwitz and the uh, SS um, uh, officers uh, uh, that Hus was desperately uh, looking for uh, the barbed wire, and he was not able to build a fence around the entire camp at this, at this moment. So uh, until the, uh, the arrival of uh, the transport from Tarnov, uh, Hus was able to, to build only small fence around uh, uh, the roll call square uh, and not uh, in the, uh, uh, on the not in the on the grounds of the former Polish military base, but somewhere else in uh, by the building of of the, of the Polish tobacco monopoly that was situated a uh, couple of uh, well, three hundred meters from uh, for, from uh, the former Polish uh, um, army's barracks. Uh, that had to be a certain pressure. Exhausted in his, and finally he agreed to accept the first um, political prisoners that might have been around the tenth of of, um, uh, of June. We know the eleventh of June, um, administration of uh, the Eastern German um, railways, the Ostbahn, uh, prepared the. Um, uh, a document with the draft of the, the, of the timetable for the special train <coughs> from Tarnov to Oświęcim. And uh, uh, this uh, special train, Zonderzug, uh, uh, was to be composed of 16 uh, passenger cars of the third class that it uh, uh, should uh, leave Tarnov on 14th of, of uh, uh, June at 10.13 uh, and then to pass uh, uh, the main station in Krakow, Krakow Główny, then Czebinia at about 2 o'clock and finally ended up in uh, Oświęcim uh, at about uh, uh, 10 past uh, 3 p.m. So everything uh, was was planned, was arranged to prepare the the, the technically the, the transport of, of uh, prisoners from Tarnów. 
uh, a day before uh, the afternoon um, on the 13th of um, uh, June, uh, the group of 753 prisoners were taken from the jail to the uh, city bus in the former Jewish uh, rital bus, the Mikvah. Uh, these people spent uh, the night um, in the building of, uh, of Mikvah and uh, they passed through the disinfection uh, showers and so on. Uh, something uh, had happened during the night because probably the the, uh, the guards from from uh, the jail uh, in, in Tartan made a mistake, and uh, uh, 25 uh, prisoners were taken back from the mikveh into the the prison. So finally, uh, 728 prisoners were loaded on the um, uh, railway siding um, by the, uh, the train station in Tarnów, and they eventually formed the first transport of Polish political prisoners to Auschwitz. Uh, we know uh, that uh, uh, the prisoners uh, uh, did not understood what's going on, what is the purpose of the trip. Uh, most of them believe that they are going to perform the slave labor uh, um, somewhere uh, in, 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 in Germany. The prisoners remembered that um, uh, on the way to Auschwitz, when the train stopped on the train station in, 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 in Krakow, uh, they could hear the sad news from the megaphones uh, that uh, uh, Paris uh, uh, surrounded, that it was uh, Paris capituliert, that of course had very negative impact on the morale. And finally, uh, Probably at around uh, uh, 3 p.m., uh, the the train reached Oświęcim and stopped for a moment on the train station. And uh, some prisoners could see uh, the name of the station, Oświęcim. Uh, they had, of course, no idea uh, where is it. Um, perhaps except from two uh, people in the transport who were. Uh, were born in Auschwitz, uh, uh, and they, of course, they knew um, uh, where they are. Uh, and then, after uh, a minute or two, the train stopped on the railway siding um, by the tobacco, uh, tobacco monopoly uh, buildings, and suddenly the door is opened. The prisoners could see uh, the, 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 the SS man together with a group of uh, strange individuals who uh, wore uh, uh, navy blue jackets, uh, uh, striped uh, the, uh, caps, and uh, they got sticks in their hands. So immediately they uh, uh, were ordered to leave the, uh, uh, the wagons, the cars, and uh, uh, the couples began to uh, beat them with sticks. Uh, uh, they could hear the, the orders. Uh, in German, most of the Poles did not understand it. Um, so all this brutality, all this terror, uh, exhausting on prisoners at this very moment of their arrival was absolutely unnecessary because uh, uh, there was not no need to, to, to do it in such a way because the, 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 the building of the Stabsgebäude of the, one of these um, uh, tobacco, uh, tobacco mon uh, monopoly uh, uh, objects was situated just a couple of uh, few do uh, 50 or 60 meters from, from, from the siding. Uh, and when they uh, reached uh, the Rolko Square and then the, the, the building, um, uh, they uh, had to pass the procedure of registration and uh, taking this opportunity uh, uh, they were gathered on the Royal Call Square and um, they saw an uh, officer uh, who uh, made a speech who, which was translated into, in, into Polish uh, that was uh, uh, deputy commander uh, and the head of the department number three, the, the um, director of, of the camp. 
Schutzer uh, Lagerführer Karl Frisch. Frisch, he, he had a habit to welcome the newly arrivals, not only the prisoners from the first transports, but also, also those prison, uh, transports that, that, that follow. Uh, with uh, the uh, uh, the speech like this, that you came uh, here not uh, to the sanatorium, but to the German concentration camp. Uh, and there is only way out through the chimney of the crematorium. And if, uh, 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 and, and uh, the Jews could uh, uh, survive here only two weeks. The, Preachers, Klehe, um, uh, one month, and others, uh, three months. So uh, clearly, his intention was to terrorize uh, the, 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 the prisoners. So, what we can say about uh, about them, about those first prisoners of Auschwitz? We, we, of course, we know much about it about it from their testimonies. Some of them survived the war. Um, a uh, number of, of books have been published uh, or, or testimonies. Uh, uh, so, uh, of course, we know that uh, uh, what was the purpose of, of the arrest, uh, what happened to them on the way to, to Tarnut and then to, to Krakow. But uh, um, apart from these uh, testimonies, uh, we have in the archive of the Auschwitz Museum a number of documents uh, which uh, clearly uh, demonstrate uh, uh, all these informations uh, in terms of statistics. Uh, it could be estimated uh, from uh, the, what were the reasons for the arrest, uh, from which localities, uh, parts of Poland they, they came from. Uh, and uh, if you put all this information together, um, it's possible to say that uh, the first Polish transport to Auschwitz was composed um, of four major groups. The first ones were um, uh, uh, members of the Polish underground. Um, the organizations like the Wiązek Walki Zbrojny or uh, Union for Armed Struggle, uh, or the uh, White Eagle, Ozo uh, Biały Resurrectio, and, and some others. These uh, uh, organizations that existed in Poland in the early stage of the German occupation. Uh, the, the second group, uh, there were uh, so called tourists, uh, or people, uh, young men, who were arrested on the border between Poland and Slovakia on the way to France. Many of them uh, wished to uh, volunteer to join the Polish army that was formed by General Sikorski in France and in Great Britain. So they, they expected to go there through uh, Slovakia, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Italy, and then to France. But they were arrested by the German uh, guards or by the Slovak um, Police or the members of the uh, Slovak paramilitary organization uh, called Hlinkova Garda. And they uh, then were sent to Zakopane and other places um, uh, uh, along the border and finally to, to Tarnov. The third group, uh, there were um, uh, members of local elites. Um, uh, representatives of, of, of uh, Polish and Jewish intelligentsia from Tarnów mainly, and these were the people who were arrested only because they uh, uh, belonged to this category. Uh, there were teachers, officers, um, um, clerks uh, in the offices of the Polish administration, and, and, and so on among the Jewish prisoners. There were less than 20 uh, Jews among uh, uh, the prisoners of the first transport. These were primarily those uh, men who uh, belonged to, um, to the group of um, uh, Tarnov intelligentsia, including uh, the director of, of uh, the secondary Hebrew school in the city. It was the uh, uh, attorney, uh, two uh, lawyers, and uh, 
uh, and the historian uh, and anthropo anthropologist who was the author of of the magnificent uh, work, the Tarnov and the surroundings. So all these people uh, were arrested only because they belonged to the uh, uh, intellectual elites of, of, of Tarnov. And the last group, uh, mm, many uh, Polish, Polish teenagers, uh, students of second, uh, secondary schools, uh, of universities, of um, uh, those who uh, uh, were arrested because uh, 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 the Nazi police expected that they would take part in the uh, um, uh, Polish uh, patriotic manifestations on the eve of the, uh, the Polish national holiday on the 3rd of May. So uh, these were the, uh, the people who were brought to Auschwitz and they uh, uh, as we can see, they, they, they tried to uh, help each other uh, and support themselves um, in these circumstances in the jail in Tarnow and on their way to, uh, to, to, from, from, from Tarnow to Auschwitz and finally also in, in, in the concentration camp. We can see, for instance, that they, are, uh, they, they stood uh, together uh, in the queue uh, online on uh, waiting to be registered. And if we've got um, uh, in the registration forms information about uh, two, three or more friends or, or members of the family from the same locality, we can see that uh, uh, the, older, the oldest from this group uh, was registered registered as, as as first because probably they, because uh, the, the the prisoners did not know uh, what might happen so uh, uh, the older the, older, the olders, older ones uh, decided to go further to go first to be registered and so on and so on so these uh, people constitute the bulk of the future uh, uh, um, uh, prison society in Auschwitz, the, 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 the prisoners who, uh, to build the camp, were employed by the construction of, of different uh, buildings in, in Auschwitz. And also, uh, many of them uh, formed the first staff of um, uh, administrative units uh, of the concentration camp, including, for instance, um, uh, the sick bay and the future hospital in Auschwitz. So some uh, assistance were given to the German uh, Kapo, who, uh, who, who was uh, the head of uh, of the sick bay in Auschwitz. Then some of uh, the, these poles uh, uh, formed at the first uh, staff of the Baubüro of the, the construction office in Auschwitz, uh, where they were responsible for some secondary works uh, for, for in, um, uh, um, uh, to make uh, to prepare the first inventory of buildings and, and other objects in the area of the concentration camp. Uh, there were some people who uh, were sent to the Politische Abteilung uh, section, the political office, which, which was responsible for registration of, of uh, the prisoners. So uh, these people uh, uh, have practically uh, a bit more chances to survive the camp than the others because the, uh, the, the majority of, of prisoners was uh, sent those are very hard manual uh, works uh, in the construction uh, of Auschwitz, in, in leveling the ground in, uh, in, in the camp to build the, um, the fence, uh, to, to level the, 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 st the streets in, in, in the camp, and so on. Uh, and uh, that's why we believe that uh, this date, the date of arrival of the first transport from Tarno, the 14th of, of June, is somehow symbolic. And not only, of course, when we um, uh, in Poland are celebrating the, um, the anniversaries of, of arrival of the first uh, transport, not because they, uh, these prisoners from this transport were somehow selected or the, 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 the fate were, was, uh, was um, 
uh, very peculiar, but because uh, they represented uh, all Polish prisoners who were brought um, to Auschwitz, particularly in the first early stage a period of existence of the concentration camp, when the Poles constitute the waste majority among the newly arrivals. That was more or less until the, the mid-1941, when the Poles constitute um, around 80% of all prisoners in Auschwitz concentration camp. So that was a case of the transports from uh, the Wisnitz, that uh, arrived uh, six days l later, and then small transports uh, from uh, the Silesian, uh, Silesian uh, jails. Uh, uh, and, uh, of course, uh, two large transports from Warsaw. It seems to be that Hus finally was able to acquire a new um, uh, a certain amount of, of barbed wire, and to complete the, the construction of the fence around all 20 brick buildings uh, in the former Polish military base. And it was almost immediately when uh, the police, police authorities from, from Warsaw uh, was able to send two large transports, altogether over 4,000 people from the uh, Pawiak jail and those Poles who were simply arrested on the streets. Uh, of Warsaw during so-called uh, rounds up or, 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 or Wapanka in Polish. So these people, uh, 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 together with, with uh, the, uh, a few more transports from, from, from Tarnów and other localities in southern Poland, they constitute the majority of, of uh, prisoners of Auschwitz at the beginning of 1941, uh, at the end of 1940. And it was, that was the moment when, uh, for the first time, we can see in the German documents that um, um, the number of deaths uh, began to uh, uh, come to the figure of 100 uh, in the late autumn of 1940. And that was why uh, the administration of Auschwitz returned to the, the original project of the crematorium equipped with two furnaces. And it, and it was done uh, um, at the beginning of, of 1941. The, this uh, new crematorium furnace was, was ready. Uh, we know uh, that uh, mm, uh, despite of uh, the Nazi plans, the construction, the piece of construction of Auschwitz uh, was still relatively small. And the reason was was not lack of, of workers, but uh, the lack of, of, of material, uh, including bricks, cement, wood, and, and, and so on. Uh, and that was uh, probably one of these crucial points in the history of Auschwitz at the beginning of 1941, when uh, for the first time the uh, management of the huge German company IG Farben drew uh, its attention to Auschwitz. Uh, initially, not because of the concentration camp, because the company found a new large suitable uh, place uh, on the other side of the city of Auschwitz. Uh, uh, as a um, location for uh, the third large, uh, or the fourth uh, large um, factory of synthetic rubber and, uh, uh, and petrol, and heavy oil for the Navy. Uh, this uh, place was uh, selected uh, for this purpose for, 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 for many reasons. The, the most important probably was the fact that the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the land was, was flat there, and uh, that was cheap. The, uh, the IG Farben simply asked the administration of, uh, uh, of the province and what was more important, the Heinrich Himmler, was um, responsible for um, the settlements of German uh, settlers and uh, for for strengthening uh, a German dom in the east. So he could uh, confiscate every uh, single Polish farm uh, in the name of of, uh, of the German uh, uh, state 
And in this way, um, IG Farben expected to acquire, uh, uh, to buy from, from, uh, uh, from the state this, this, this land. And uh, there was also some other, uh, the number of other advantages, the, the coal mines, the raw material, the, the train station uh, nearby and so on. So uh, the only problem from IG Farben was the lack of manpower. Uh, many Poles who lived in the city or uh, in the villages nearby had uh, already been uh, sent to Germany to perform slave labor. And uh, that was the, probably the reason uh, why uh, the IG Farben drove attention on the concentration camp as a potential source of cheap labor for the company. Uh, so the negotiations uh, the, uh, between IG Farben uh, and SS were quick and successful. The both sides were satisfied. Uh, and uh, uh, the only problem was the, the still limited number of uh, Polish prisoners in the camp. Uh, so on the one hand, uh, IG Farben promised to supply the, uh, the SS uh, the, with the new deliveries of of bricks and uh, uh, construction materials from their own resources, on the one hand. On the other, uh, the SS um, um, promised that uh, uh, um, uh, police in general government will be able to send as many prisoners and as necessary to Auschwitz to provide a sufficient amount of the labor force for the IG Farben. Now, that was a deal, beneficial for both sides, and it had, of course, a very uh, um, uh, important uh, and, and, and uh, consequences on, uh, um, on the fate of Polish prisoners uh, in, uh, in general government who uh, from this time on, on were, uh, were being sent to Auschwitz on a regular ba basis. Uh, from April 1941, we can observe gradually the, uh, the rise in the number of Poles being sent to Auschwitz. But the problem was for the uh, administration of a concentration camp and also for, for, for the IG Farben that uh, despite of this, despite of these uh, mass transports of Polish prisoners to the Auschwitz concentration camp, the number of prisoners uh, in the camp was more or less uh, remained still on the same level, 10 or 12,000. And that resulted from extremely high uh, mortality rate among the prisoners. So, that was a problem for the for the SS and for 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 for, for, for IG Farben. How to find more workers suitable for for the for the needs of uh, of the company? And it seems to be that in uh, September 1941, um, Heinrich Himmler found a solution. Uh, he uh, mm, uh, began the, the the negotiations with the Oberkommando der Wehrmacht. Uh, uh, and the army, the generals, uh, agreed to send um, uh, masses, tens of thousands of Soviet prisoners of war to Auschwitz. Of course, uh, the existing barracks at Auschwitz were uh, not sufficient to accommodate so many people, so uh, Himmler ordered to build a new camp um, uh, about two kilometers away from the old Auschwitz concentration camp, on the grounds of the Polish uh, 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 village called Brzezinka or, or Birkenau in German. So that was another breaking point uh, the, in the history of Auschwitz, the arrival of uh, Soviet prisoners of war, 10,000 of them brought to Auschwitz in, in October 1941. But because uh, after two months, uh, German army suffered the first serious defeat uh, in the land battle uh, the Battle of Moscow. Uh, on the 25th of, uh, of January, uh, Himmler took another decision uh, to replace uh, Soviet prisoners of war for our, uh, in Auschwitz with the masses of Jewish prisoners, as he stated in, in the order uh, that uh, because Soviet prisoners of war will not be available in the near future, so uh, he, I, Himmler, decided to send uh, uh, Jews to, uh, to, to concentration camps 
practically to, to the, the, the highest number of them to Auschwitz. Uh, those Jews who are just emigrating to the east. So Auschwitz from this time on became the um, uh, uh, regular concentration camp uh, on the one hand, but on the other, uh, a huge camp for concentration of, uh, of Jewish prisoners. And because these Jews were being deported to Auschwitz together with their families, with children, with elderly people, with, with invalids, those people who could not be taken into account as a potential source of labor for, for the industry. So the SS uh, uh, decided to cope with this, this problem by uh, initiating the, the mass killing of those Jews in the gas chambers. That gas chambers were um, hurriedly prepared uh, on the edge of, uh, of the forest in, in Birkenau. So that was the moment in history when the uh, Poles, however, still being uh, brought to Auschwitz in large numbers, the number of Jews uh, in the camp was uh, uh, much higher than the number of Polish prisoners, and the Jews became the the primary target of German persecutions, and they constitute the, uh, the waste majority among the victims of people who were brought, uh, were, who were killed uh, in, the gas, uh, in the gas chambers uh, in, in, um, in Auschwitz. So, uh, despite all of this, the Poles still uh, constitute uh, in, uh, a large contingent among the newly arrivals to Auschwitz, and the number of Polish prisoners reached its peak, uh, peak in, in uh, the summer of 1944. During the, 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 the uprising in Warsaw, many thousands of civilians from, from the capitals of Poland were deported to, to uh, Auschwitz. So let me back, go back to, to, to the story of the prisoners from the first transport. We know that uh, many of them perished, died, or were murdered, uh, particularly within the first uh, few months of uh, uh, in, in Auschwitz. And we know that because uh, uh, in the archive of the Auschwitz Museum, there is a collection of, of um, uh, identification photographs taken by uh, the SS uh, at the beginning of, of spring in 1941. So we know that if somebody's photograph is missing, so that's... Uh, it clearly um, explain what would happen to, say, to, 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 to such a prisoner that he had died somehow in, in Auschwitz. So uh, the basis of uh, of this um, uh, of this collection, we may say that uh, uh, until spring of 1941, about uh, um, 30 percent of uh, almost 30 percent of the prisoners from this first transport and other early transport of Auschwitz. Uh, did not survive. And then um, uh, many of um, uh, Polish prisoners from Tarnow were um, uh, uh, transferred to uh, many other German concentration camps, to, to, um, to, to Dachau, Sachsenhausen, Buchenwald, and Mauthausen, mostly. And uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, of course, many of them died there in, 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 in Germany before the liberation. So, on the basis of uh, existing sources, the records uh, kept in, in Auschwitz, we estimated that um, about uh, 320, a bit more, uh, prisoners from the first transport survived the war. Um, Almost 300 uh, of, uh, of them uh, died for sure, and there is a gap uh, in, in uh, documentation. Uh, we don't know what happened uh, with over 100 people. Most of them probably perished or were murdered somewhere, uh, somehow in Auschwitz or in, uh, later on in, in other camps in Germany. Uh, those who survived uh, were liberated mostly by the West, uh, Western Germany, by the Allies, by, by the British and American forces. And there is another source of information uh, about them. They, they described their 
uh, experiences, uh, the, 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 the story uh, and the documents in the DP camps. And uh, some of them declared that they wish to go back to Poland. However, many of them all uh, said that no, that they uh, don't, uh, didn't want to do it. So being in the, the DP camps, camps for displaced persons in, in, in Germany, uh, they uh, um, uh, had decided what to do, to go back to Poland or to, uh, to, to stay uh, in Germany or to, to, to look for a uh, new life uh, somewhere in, in, in America, in Australia, and in, in many other countries. Uh, and those um, uh, survivors, the first transport who had families in Poland, of course, they, they, they um, uh, as a rule, they, 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 are, they were taking decisions to go back to Poland. But in, um, in the forms that were filled up by uh, the, the, these prisoners, uh, sometimes we can find the entry that, and the question, are you going uh, to go to Poland, to, to, to your home country? They answered that no. Why? Because Poland is under occupation. Uh, so these uh, Polish prisoners uh, who, who didn't go, uh, go back to Poland, they, they uh, uh, had to find uh, job uh, um, uh, opportunities for, for, for the future, future life, for, for, um, uh, to rebuild their lives in, in uh, um, the Western countries. Uh, some of them who uh, returned to Poland uh, particularly those who were members of uh, the resistance that was associated somehow with the Polish government in London. They were persecuted by, by communists and many of them spent, some of them spent many years in, in, in jails uh, uh, in the late 40s at the beginning of, of 50s. And this is the end of the story.